So guys, I've been telling you that this area is really one of my least favorite areas currently in the Desert Dome because I don't like how this looks like and I was planning to take care of it. Well, it's February, so um, I'm gonna take cuttings and let them colors and, um, and then we're gonna probably pot them. These are okay. Those are the propagations that I did from a donation. They look good. This one, when it was donated, as you can see, it had a lot of wounds. Then it got a lot of new growth. This is, I think, the new growth, and then got a lot of babies. I'm gonna cut some of those babies today. I'm gonna chop this one as well. Uh, we also had a Oputia snow here that was very unhappy, and I digged it out, and I will show you where I placed it. But let's start with this baby cutting here that I'm going to chop off, all right. I'm wondering if I'm gonna cut right here so that this baby can grow and then just chop this one in parts so we can propagate. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is like wood. And this is actually, guys, really good knife for cutting some thicker succulents. Amanda find it, found it on Amazon and we bought it for conservatory, so I can post the link. No advertisement, this is just something we like to use. It's working really well. And it's only $15. All right, I'm almost through there. All right. So I'm gonna definitely cut this part. Okay. It's looking really good. And then I'm gonna cut a few more sections that I would like to root this. So these we can root as well. This, I'm not sure we're gonna use. Um, I think I'm gonna probably throw it away. Uh, I want to also to cut this one. It's the same variety. And you can see here, it has two babies as well. So we're gonna leave those to grow. I'm gonna cut right above. Again, this is pretty thick here. All right, so this section, I think I'm gonna cut this top off. It's looking good. Okay. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one, we'll see. This one looks pretty good. I'm not gonna touch that one. I don't know what happened with this one. I don't like this one either here. I think this one was going to be moved. It's healthy. So let's move toward the middle. I want to clean up another section over here. I think this is the meanest cactus, Chola. I don't have it in my personal collection. Don't wish to have it. It's very pokey. But it dry up uh, on the some of the areas. So I don't know what happened. So I'm going to chop off some parts. The top seems to be okay. This middle section is usually underwatered, so I don't think it's root rot. Just gonna clean it up. I always work with bare hands, not with chola. Uh, it's awful. Looks already better. What is this? There's a few dead parts there. And then I wanted to clean this one here because it looks like it dried up a bit. So I'm gonna just cut it here where it started drying. 
Okay, that's the dead part. And here as well. Okay. All right, so this is going to be thrown away. And then I also wanted to cut another one over there. So we could probably cut some of this one as well for propagation. Look, and this one broke. So I suppose I can just cut it off. So that's going to be a nice piece. I don't like how this one is like too much on the side. So I'm going to cut it right here. And then this one. Okay. I think somebody was actually asking for something that's a bit taller. So I think we can root to this one and somebody can buy it. Uh, I don't like these little ones either down here. I don't know. Here it's encroaching in the area with agave. So I definitely want to trim this. There. Put this one here. Ooh, this one's bulky. All right. This, I don't like how it looks. I think that's better. All right, this is the one that has some black. I think this is a cylinder puntia, something, something I donated it years ago. Grew quite a bit. I propagated this one more than once, but you can see on this side actually has black. So I want to chop it off right below that black, and then it's going to continue to grow new branches, and I can propagate, propagate this top that's pretty healthy. So, yeah, and then this here is crazy, guys, really crazy. So you can see that this is a roadkill cactus, and then these are the cuttings of a puntia from, I don't know, four years ago, five years ago that I placed here. They're kind of getting into each other's space. So I definitely want to cut this one off. Um, and yeah, I'm going to trim these two a little bit. This is pretty hard to hold. So we'll see. Not hard to cut, but oh, these are some bad needles. So I have to pull that one out now. I'm going to try to hold it somewhere where it's not. This is mean. All right. Oh, I'm going to take it out of here. All right. Well, that looks better already. I don't like some of this white on the roadkill cactus. I... um. I think I might cut some of that. Yeah, I'm going to cut these babies here. I don't know why they got that white. Yeah, I think that's better. So. So I have a lot of fits to situate right now. I think that's it for cutting right now. And here's our new cat addition that's adjusting. Hi, Marcel. Hey. Hi. Oh, he's so sweet.
You want to come out, Marcel? So this is a pointy of snow from that area where we have blue cacti. It was very unhappy, didn't look so good. Um, I gave it big enough pot and I'm hoping it's going to recover here. What I also want to show you um, is three new cacti additions that I actually found at Meijer grocery store. So let's take a look. So here are three new cacti additions. I don't know exact ID. This one looks like a caterpillar. And then this is some kind of mammillaria. Really soft. Actually not pokey and it's preparing to have blooms. And then this one is so unusual guys. I love it. Um, I think I have seen something like this in Serbia. And I bought one of these for myself as well. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.